Hello, everybody. We have a Saturday afternoon matchup featuring the UAB Blazers and the Purdue Boilermakers. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Patrick. With me, my esteemed colleague, Kyle Peterson. How about a little MVP 06 NCAA baseball? The sun's shining. We're on a college campus. There's not a better spot for baseball. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number three of our UAB Blazers Dynasty. We're taking on the Purdue Boilermakers in this one. Very close team as far as ranking goes. We actually got a little bit of a boost. If you guys saw that, kudos to you. We were a D plus when we started this thing, and now we're a C minus. So we got a little bit of a bump upward, and we're right on par with talent with the Purdue Boilermakers. There's a starting lineup there. You're starting nine. You guys will see some probably some unfamiliar faces compared to the last couple of episodes here. As we see Doug Hyde trying to steal second base, and he cannot get it in. Josh Austin with a no one two count here in the top of the first and a sinker pitch that he just swung right over the top of, and we are out of this inning. Pitcher Larry Sims, one of your guys' custom players here, taking the mound, and he has got a devastating fastball, guys. He's got he can throw the kitchen sink at you, but he, that fastball is really what he relies on. Other than Christian Klump at second base, it is your regular starting nine out there in today's action. I've already got one down here. Klump cannot get this ground ball. Tangan cuts it off here in center field for the first base hit for the Purdue Boilermakers in this game. Here's first baseman number 28, 0-2 count. Look at that fastball, that heavy, heavy fastball. He just challenged him high and inside. Brother, you better take those glasses off because you're not going to be able to see 98 up high and inside like that. There's no way. So here's actually um, I misspoke. The starting catcher for today's game is Mashfee. So it is not our regular starting catcher, and which would be Chris or Charles Davis, I think. Charles or Chris? I probably am butchering that, but it's Davis. It's David. Chase Davis. There you go. Got it. Got it. Got it, guys. I'm still trying to get familiar with everybody's names here on this roster, but Tangan is going to cut it off again in center field for a second base hit in this inning for Purdue. Not another 99 mile hour fastball inside. They can't just can't catch up to it. You know what, Sims? I'd be sticking to that. I'd be sticking to that 99, 98 fastball all game long. Here's a base hit for Jay Balmer, and it seems like we like going the other way. We had Doug Hyde come up, get a base hit to right field. Now we got Jay Balmer getting a base hit to right field. We like to go the other way here. Jay Balmer's stealing, and he's going to get thrown out again. So we're testing this catcher, and this guy's got a gun. He's got. Two outs on two stolen base attempts so far. We are we have not been successful in a single one. But uh, yeah, you guys ever get the strikeout? Throw it around, throw it around to your infielders after you get a strikeout. Well, we're just gonna throw it around here a little bit after this out. <laughs> this is one of the best parts of this game, by the way. You just throw it around, just throw it around all over the place. It doesn't matter. Umpire's not gonna call you back to to get the game going. No delay of game here. No game clock to worry about. Jay Palmer is going to make a play out there in right field. A really nice play. And here's Klump going to throw off balance to Holt, who's going to get the third out of the inning. Here's Mashfee coming up. Here's what looks like to be a base hit, but first baseman's going to nab this one. Here's Reggie Garcia coming up. One and one count. And he gets a good pitch to hit, a good pitch to drive the opposite way, but he's going to ground out for the second out of the inning here in the top of the third. Here's Christian Klump, one and two count and a slider. He just didn't time correctly and he's gonna strike out. So this pitcher, this UAB team, this Purdue team, everything is going back and forth here. It's a very even game right now, but what a play by Holt, guys. What a play by Holt to get over there into foul territory and make that grab over the stands. It's a nice play by the first baseman, by the big man. 98. High and outside against glasses. Love it. Just keep throwing him high, man. He can't see. He hasn't learned. He's not taking those glasses off yet. 0-2 count. And, here, man, it's an 0-2 count, and that guy took the took the baseball back up the middle. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good approach right there. 1-1 one one count here, and now Sims is starting to get a little bit roughed up here. Tangan going to cut this off, get it back in to Garcia. 0-0 count here in the top of the fourth, bottom of the fourth, excuse me. And there's a pass ball. Trying to throw a slider. It totally missed. Totally, totally missed. One and two count, though. He throws a curveball low, and it's going to get these guys out of the inning. So really good job by Sims to kind of calm down a little bit. 
and get us out of there. So here's a base hit by Holt, our first baseman. You got to get used to the batting stances here is how you really know, you know, who's who here. So here's Jay Ballmer with a man on base. Nobody out either. This is a, this is a good spot for an RBI opportunity, maybe even a home run to break this tie 0-0. Oh, oh. 0-1 oh count, slider, 0-2 oh count after the curveball. Hit 71. It's a pretty interesting spot here. He has not thrown him a single fastball here. And here's another curveball, and man, that's tough. That's tough. It's tough to read, and you got to react at it late to see if it's going to even drop in the strike zone. And Balmer can't time it up here. He's going to strike out. Sam Morgan comes up, and he's going to ground out to second base. But he's going to be safe after this call. Hustle. Hustle the first, he gets in, so it's going to be a fielder's choice at second base. He's still he's going to be over on that. He's not going to get credited for a hit. So here's Mashby, the catcher, going to get a base hit to right field, and now Reggie Garcia in a crucial spot for us, but he's also going to ground out to the first baseman. We cannot push any runs across here. We only have four hits on the game right now. Let's go to the bottom of the fifth here. Already a runner on first base and back up the middle. Purdue goes again against Larry Sims. So now... We're in a little bit of trouble. Man on first, man on second. Who are we going to put in here? We got Arbuckle in the bullpen. We got Stefanitz in the bullpen as well. One and two count, two outs, and a slider, a nasty, nasty slider. And Sims is going to get out of this inning holding that tie together. Still nothing, nothing. And here's Doug Hyde coming up, and he's going to get a ground ball to first base. Pitcher cannot get back there fast enough. But watch this swing, man. I mean, I'll take... I'll take the hit, right? A little, basically a check swing single. I mean, goodness gracious, I'll take it. Josh Austin, going to strike out for the, I think, the third time in this game. Second or third time in this game. So he's really struggling right now. They keep throwing him that off-speed pitch. Just can't time it up correctly right now. Clump, got to get this out for out number one. And Sims with a nasty slider. High and outside is going to get this strike three for out number two. Bottom of the six still, and we're going to give up a base hit. What looks like it's going to be a double if Balmer can get back there fast enough. He's running out of energy. Use that big, strong arm. Wow, so he threw it all the way from the warning track over to Klump at second base in the dirt. And look at this, Klump, nice play to his left. That's a really, really good play right there, guys, to get us out of that inning. So here's Balmer, deep drive. Come on, baby, go! <sighs> right fielder's going to camp underneath this at the warning track. Balmer put a drive onto that thing, and it's not going to come to pass. For a run, and we are now out of this inning yet again. So we are now through the seventh inning with no runs for either side. So the pitching's been good. The defense has been better. The offense for both teams hasn't been around. Hasn't not been around. So here is Sam Stefanitz in that nasty changeup. Look at that. Just a little flick. Just a little flick going to the outside corner. Strike three on the changeup. We've got two down here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Here's a nice fastball. It's hitting 94. You know, I said in the last video not a lot of pitchers back in 2006 were hitting 95, 96, 97. I mean, that that's still true. So it's really nice to see that he's kind of holding his own for a natural college pitcher back way back when, back in 2006. You know, guys in the 90s that were throwing 96 were like, you know, unicorns. Like Pedro Martinez, Roger Clemens, those guys were unicorns. So then everybody started, you know, trying to figure out how to throw like those guys because they were super effective. That's a Pokemon reference. Super effective. So, yeah, any, any college pitcher at this level that was throwing 95, 96, you were going to be drafted for sure. So Stefanitz is holding his own there with the velocity, but he's going to get us out of that inning. So we're looking good here. We're going to the top of the ninth. Here is Kelly Tangen. There's a little looper. Can it fall in? Left fielder giving some chase. He's going to grab it, and we are not going to get another base hit here. Here's Doug going to line out to first base. So... Here we go again, and Josh Austin going to strike out for the fourth time in this game. Change up on the outside, just can't take it the other way. So bottom of the ninth, one down. Garcia dives, can't make the play. Tanging going to get it back into second base. So now Purdue is in business here with a pretty decent hitter at the plate. 0-0 count. Here's Austin going to second. Clump back over to first. 
first. Got him. Oh, Holt. What a pick at first. And what a turn by the infielders, guys. What a pick by Holt to save it. We get that double play. We're going to get another out here the next time we get up to bat. Ah, oh, gosh. We're going to the top of the 11th. Guys, we're going into extras. Here's a strike on the inside part of the plate to Christian Klump. Can he get a base hit for us? Maybe even a home run. Come on, come through. That sinker pitch is nasty. They do have another pitcher in here, guys. He's been going about three or four innings at this point. Yeah, he's looking pretty decent. He's got that little, got that little submarine action sidearm, and that's a tough pitch to determine if that's going to end up hitting the inside part of the plate or not. So Klump is going to strike out right here. We're going to the bottom of the 11th. Klump almost doesn't make this play, but he's going to. He's going to come through, and he gets that play. Look at Austin laying out the body and Holt with the stretch. Guys, the defense is coming through for the Blazers here. Top of the 12th. Doug Hyde up. The ground out to third. And we're not we're still not getting the offense. We're not getting the bats going here. Here's Josh Austin again with a strikeout. They keep throwing him the off speed, and we have not been able to figure that out quite yet for him. And we've still got Sam Stefanitz out there right now with one down in the bottom of the 12th inning. We gotta come through right here. He's got about 20%. And then this happens. A deep drive. Way back. Hyde. Hey, come on! It goes out. It's going to go out for a walk-off home run. We had action in the bullpen, and they just they weren't ready yet. And Stefanitz gave it everything he had. Pitched a ton of innings for us in relief. It's not your fault, man. Offense just could not come through today. Everybody's hanging their heads. But this guy was the offense all day for the Purdue Boilermakers. He went four for five with that walk-off home run. So Purdue, ten hits. In 12 innings with one run, and we had five hits for nothing. No errors for either side, so defense, like I said, played very, very well. Austin had four strikeouts. The strikeouts were piling up for Klump, Austin, Balmer. We had 11 strikeouts so far on the, on the game. Balmer and Hyde both got caught stealing. So not a – it says winning pitcher, Sims, but <laughs> that's a glitch, obviously. But nobody ever – nobody really did much – hitting-wise for Purdue other than that second baseman who won the game for him. So, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I know it kind of stunk, but it is what it is. I'll see you guys in the next episode against Mississippi State. We'll be taking on them for a series. We'll be having, about I think, two games against Mississippi State. We do have a challenge that we have to uh, complete. And then I'll also give you guys kind of a recruiting update. There wasn't really anything else to talk about with recruiting. I already looked, and I'm like, you know, there, there really isn't much developing here right now to uh, to report on, to waste time and waste minutes of your viewing pleasure. So, guys, we'll see you guys next Monday for the next upload. Or if we can get some likes here, if we get about, I say, 50. If we get 50 likes, 50 likes. I've never done this before. If you get this X amount of likes, I'll make a new one. No, but seriously, though, guys, likes help. Likes and comments help the YouTube search, and it, it definitely helps the video get bumped up into recommended. So it, it helps. The more people you can bring into this, the better. I firmly believe that. So if we can get 50 likes, I'll do another one later on in the week. So leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red button for a subscribe or my logo in the bottom right-hand corner, and I will see you guys later on for the next UAB Dynasty upload. For episode number four, I'll see you guys then. As always, peace.